also tell you guys what is taking up a lot of your money what is wasting your money but this might only apply to me or some people like me so everybody might not be in this situation this is something that happens to some of us don't ask me why I'm whispering if I just change this thing I'm doing just just this thing if I change it I will save money and I, I, I may be able to use that money for other things that I want like like you guys there's so many things I want to use money for let's not let's not even start let me know in the comment section something you've been trying to save for and you've not been able to save and it might be because of this reason this reason it's convenience guys convenience convenience i know like if my mom was watching this video she would say it's laziness but i don't know but i call it so convenient to for me like I just I just go to a supermarket and and I pick corn that they've already removed from the cob or sometimes I buy pre-made parfait why I realized that this pre-made parfait was more expensive than the one I make at home and mine was more delicious so why am I buying it outside? convenience or, or is it laziness? I don't know but you guys I figured it out I'm about to save money and I'm about to meal prep today so in fact I am going to go shopping and show you guys how I make my parfait today. Before I show you how I make my own parfait, I'm going to tell you the first step you need to take if you want to be in control of the food that you eat, if you want to be less stressed out, always thinking about what to eat, if you want to stop making bad choices when it comes to food, this is probably the reason why you eat impulsively you need to take this step guys this step will help you greatly and it is meal planning you need a food timetable you can have it digitally you can have a board just like I do and just plan your meals for the week once you plan your meals for the week then the next steps are pretty easy and they're pretty straightforward but you need to first of all make a plan so i'm going to do a sample of my weekly plan for my family i'm just showing you how to do this i already have a full timetable that you can use for about six months for six months you don't have to think about what are we going to cook oh what is for breakfast what is for lunch i have it already written and it is in my description box you can download it to your phone you have it everywhere you go instead of just on a board but I like to write mine on the board so that everybody knows this is what we're eating this week you don't get distracted <laughs> so go to the link in my description box you can download the full timetable there and if you're someone that's interested in my cookbooks, within that full timetable, there is a discount code that you can use to download all my other cookbooks. And it will give you a certain percentage off. Anyways, the first thing I like to do is go through my you know, pantry, go through my fridge and see what I already have. That is what is going to be the base of my meal planning. That way, I'm not wasting the food that is already at home. There's no point buying something else when we have like leftover cabbage. You're not going to throw that away. You're going to use that as the base of your meals. 
today's video is going to focus on how I meal prep breakfast for this week the major breakfast we're having is the parfait because I am so guilty all the time driving out I just stop at the supermarket and I buy pre-made parfait they are actually expensive and I don't know what is inside I can make it myself so I'm going to show you how I make mine and how I save money just by meal planning You can put anything in your parfait but I'm going to be using strawberries and blueberries for mine and then I'll be using granola as well and we'll be using yogurt for this parfait. So just pick any kind of yogurt you like, any kind of fruits that you like and then let's make our parfait together. There are different types of granola you can find but I like to use a particular kind it is called tropical granola something like that I know it's in orange yeah this is it and this is what I'll be using for the parfait you can also garnish your parfait with different things you can add like dried fruits you can add nuts you can add anything that you like but I'll be keeping it simple today because we have a budget that we need to stick to to clean my fruits I like to use bicarbonate of soda just put it in the water put your fruits in and then allow it to sit for a few minutes allow it to soak come back wash your fruits and you will get rid of all the dirt I like to wash it a couple of times about two to three times so that I'm sure I'm getting rid of everything and this is the reason why it's important to make your food yourself you don't know if where you're buying from if they're taking so much care with making your food when it comes to hygiene and all that good stuff so it's just better you do it yourself so you know that you did the right thing food poisoning is real my friends I'm just going to cut up my fruits into little bits so I'm using strawberries and I'm using blueberries I don't have to cut up the blueberries just the strawberries To assemble my parfaits, I'm going to be using these cups that I got from Miniso. I love them because they have different compartments so I can make the parfait and separate the granola from the made parfait so that by the time I'm eating it, it is not soggy, it still stays fresh. So just watch the process, it's pretty easy. You put your um, yogurt, you put your fruits, you add another layer of yogurt, add more fruits. You can add anything you want. We have different types of yogurt. We have sweetened and unsweetened. This is unsweetened yogurt. And I have delicious honey that I'll be adding to some of it because I don't want all of them to be sweet. There are some that I'm going to add some honey just to sweeten it.
like I said, the top layer of the container can be separated from the body. So I'm just adding my granola to that part and then I'll cover my parfait. And you guys, it is really that easy. Just assemble everything the way you like. I really, really like these containers. You put them in the fridge and they can last you a week. So instead of me stopping by at the supermarket all the time picking parfaits, I've just made a delicious parfait. This granola has like coconut shavings, some dried fruits in it, which is why I like to buy it. So, you know, just cover, put it in the fridge. And you guys, breakfast is set for the next few days. You just need to meal prep once a week or maybe two days out of seven days and it will save you time in the long run and you don't have to spend so much time in the kitchen cooking, cooking, cooking. Just pick two days, maybe one day for shopping for ingredients and prepping ingredients and the next day for cooking and assembling your ingredients. I hope you guys take this up because it's going to save you time, it's going to save you money, it's going to save you stress. If you need a meal plan, click the link in my bio to download my meal plan, aka food timetable. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!